right, so I'm in Avion, France. Uh, I seen pictures of this online and thought I had to come out here. It's a walled city. Apparently the Pope used to live out here and it should be pretty good. Uh, it looks really nice. I'm actually staying inside the wall too, so it's gonna be good. And yeah, we're gonna check it out. So I was looking for unique and interesting cities to explore in Southern France. And I sort of stumbled across Avion, France in the Provence region. I had never heard of the city before, knew nothing about Avion, but the more I looked into it, the more intrigued I got. It's a really cute and historic city. Like I said, it's a walled city. The city center is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site with a ton of history. The overall city is fairly small, but that makes it super easy to get around and there's lots of things within walking distance. Avion is probably more of a romantic city, but I did it by myself and I had a blast. Unfortunately, I only spent two nights with one full day exploring Avion, France, so I definitely missed out on a lot, but next time. <laughs> I actually heard there's a lot of natural parks nearby, which are some of the best in France. I also seen some castles and historic sites across the river I would love to explore. So definitely give yourself more time than I did. Either way though, I still had an amazing time. And hopefully this video gives you a good starting point for your visit to Avion. So. It's a Saturday, so they had a lot of street stuff going on. It was good. Some of the streets are really busy. Then you walk down some of these other streets and there's no one around. It's really strange. But yeah, just gonna enjoy a little snack here and uh, head to the Palace of the Popes. So this is the Pope's Palace, from my understanding. And I don't listen very well, so I could be totally wrong. But in the 1300s, the Pope wasn't living in Rome. He was just kind of wandering around living life, traveling, seeing the sights. <laughs> and he, uh, and they elected a new one. So I guess he passed away. <laughs> Anyways, this new Pope was French. The French King wanted the Pope closer and they built the Pope's palace here in Avion. Slowly over the 1300s. Woo, I'm on top of the palace of the Popes. <laughs> uh, yeah, check this out. You go right up to the roof here. Not too shabby. <laughs> they have virtual tours. They kind of shows you what it looked like back in the day. So even though there's not really a lot of artifacts left, they've all been taken away or sold, lost. It was still a pretty good experience. It was like only, it was less than 20 euros. Spent over two hours there. I'm back in my Airbnb. It is so a little windy outside, so I had to come back, bundle up. I'm going across the famous bridge here in Avion, so I gotta be prepared. <laughs> but check out this Airbnb. It's literally like two blocks from the Pope's Palace. I pay like 70 bucks Canadian, so I'll let you do the conversions. It is January, but it's a pretty good deal and uh, all brand new stuff, so all good. Pretty small though, this is basically it. And yeah, I'm gonna head back there and we're gonna cross that bridge. Yeah, kind of stumbled across this little park right beside the Pope's Palace here. It's uh, pretty quiet up there, super windy, but you get views right around, like 180 degrees. It's pretty nice right over the river. So Point d'Avion or the Avion Bridge has a lot of history to it. Admittedly, I had never heard of it or knew it was famous, but it was a package deal where I got access to the Pope's Palace and the Avion Bridge for about 15 euros. So I checked it out. They give you a walking tour to listen to as you cross the bridge and it has a pretty amazing story attached to it. This bridge has been built and destroyed numerous times. 
wars, songs, everyone seems to have fought over this bridge. And even if you know nothing about it, they kept me fairly interested in a bridge for almost over an hour. <laughs> All right, so that's the Avion Bridge. Man, it was super windy up there. But uh, yeah, not sure I'm gonna go next. Just gonna wander around, I guess. Figure it out.